I apologize, but we're gonna catch up later because I have to go to the gym right now or else it's not gonna happen. I know. <laughs> I even I don't even know what to do. I kind of just want to catch up with you guys a little bit. I know that I'm still a small channel and probably most likely all of you don't really know me. I am a very private person. Um, but one thing that I kind of want to talk to you guys about um, is something that I learned this year, which is about opening up. And if you feel like you can relate to this, I hope this resonates with you in some way. Um, so yeah, this past year, a lot has happened. <laughs> I was reaching a lot of goals that I had set for myself and I'm very proud to have achieved those goals. But, but the problem was, was that I felt very stuck. Like I didn't, I couldn't move forward and I didn't know which direction to move forward. And I realized that a lot of that trouble was stemming from a lot of stuff that was going on internally that I wasn't really taking the time to heal from. And it kind of reached that point where I was, I got so sick of it affecting every aspect of my life from work, friends, family, school, relationships. I've always kind of been that person where I don't want to burden people a lot of the times I feel like, oh, people wouldn't understand or they can't relate to it. And it is really hard for me a lot of the times to ask people for help. But obviously what's wrong with that is that that just ends up with pushing a lot of people away and a lot of opportunities away too. So yeah, a lot of stuff happened this year where it reached that point where I kind of literally just exploded and opened up about all the stuff that is going on inside um, and I know it's hard it's so hard to have those conversations opening up to the people that you need to share these things with or the people that you need to confront but I hope you have the courage to do so if you need to and I hope that the people that you do choose to open up to I hope that they're very understanding or try to be understanding and receive it well but one big thing is that they each told me that 
they wish I've told them sooner. And I believe them. I wish I had opened up more about it sooner. I feel like I could have saved myself years of pain. Um, so that's kind of why I want to talk to you guys about this. Obviously, not everything's going to be fixed right away. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes action. But what I also learned is that there is a point where you can't just be stuck dwelling on how to move on from trauma. You, there comes a point where you just have to go and you have to move and you have to take action, do stuff, do the things you love, work, create, which is kind of where I'm at. So I find myself being more comfortable with doing the things that I love to do. And one of them is this YouTube channel, which actually does kind of cause me a lot of stress because I get self-conscious about talking in front of the camera. Lately, I've been thinking about what I want to do with this channel and what kind of space I want this to be for me and for you. And I kind of just want this to be a space where you can just chill and relax and hang out and share things with each other. Um, me and you, you and other viewers. I also want to experiment with the different kinds of videos that I want to do and video styles. Um, so also let me know what kind of stuff you want to see from me. Um, YouTube oddly feels like therapy in some way because I'm doing a lot of the things that I'm nervous about. It's kind of like what I talked about in my other vlog, which is to step out of your comfort zone because it really does help you grow and experience more in life, which I'm always aiming to do. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and for being here. I always love reading your comments and I always get so happy reading comments that I'm helping you out with makeup tips. And also there have been some of you where um, you've told me that you've been trying to step more out of your comfort zone. And it's really cool because I even got messages from friends um, telling me that they're trying to step into being more confident, um, which I'm really happy about. And so yeah, let me know what you want to see. And if you feel comfortable with telling me how this past year has been for you, um, that'd be really cool. I'm here, I'll always be here. And I hope everything's been going well with you. So I'll see ya.